With protocol already being established, a pleasant good morning. We, the students of the Union Island Geo Group, are here today to present on our idea of a multi-purpose cadastral system. Our tagline is, building a framework for managing resources, thus providing the foundation for stability and prosperity. When Mr. White, he later again. Mr. White, listen to whether he's going to tax by post office. Well, I don't know. We're not coming back now. Alice, still working on the idea for the NTRC competition. Yes, we're still working on the idea of the multi-purpose cadastral system. A multi-purpose what? A multi-purpose cadastral system, where all land and property records are integrated into one internet-based system that provides control access to the general public and government agencies. It will also include the integration of inland revenue, land registration, land and surveying, and physical planning into one department or ministry. Okay, that sounds interesting. So what are the objectives behind this system? Well, we plan to integrate all land record information into one system and also to allow persons to access property information and pay their taxes from anywhere in the world. So that is all? No. Also to make government tax collection system more efficient and accurate and reduce valuable time the public and companies spend researching land-related information. So why are you choosing another project this sounds like a lot of work? Well, apart from Mr. White spending holy by the post office, because I don't know he liked talk already, land record information is one of the most requested type of government information. Web-enabled cadastral and title system have not only lessened the procedures of obtaining parcel-related information in other countries, but they have also eradicated the need for over-the-counter procedures and departmental bureaucracy. As a result, we came up with the idea to make SVG cadastral system more efficient. But apart from Mr. White spending a lot of time dealing with land-related issues, the current system seems to be working fine. That's what you think. But the fact that land-related or property information is distributed across four different departments, which means that there will be difficulty in accessing land record information, the country's fiscal, legal, and planning cadastre, isolated, overlapping, and incomplete, sometimes inaccurate information existing in government departments. Also, access to property information can be tedious and lengthy, and involve high costs if one is traveling from the Grenadines. The outdated and inefficient cadastral system resulting in poor planning. And different or conflicting information of the same parts of land by different departments. So what are you telling me on the proposing? The implementation of a multi-purpose cadastral system where inland revenue, physical planning, land and sovereign and land registration will be integrated into a single real property information system that we manage on the single system miniature department. Learning quick, man. <laughs> so do you believe this is going to make person's life easier? How do you mean? Listen. It will, it will provide land-related services 24 hours a day. It will also improve tax collection methods and identify defaulters more quickly. Information on parcels of land can be updated quickly and applied. And also, all maps can be more easily updated, organized, and shared. There will be a well-defined appraisal system. Other taxes, for example, the garbage tax, can be tied to properties and pay through the MCS. So wait, only person like Mr. White is who is going to pay taxes, the system is going to help? No, we are also going to target the general public, person who wish to buy property, person seeking permission to build a house or open a business, banks and other lending agencies, engineers and architects, other agencies and industries that may require GIS. easy look all property related information will be entered into the mcs database now the information in the mcs will be accessed on two levels by persons at the mcs office which can 
access and manipulate all the information and also create reports. And two, the public business and other agencies via the internet can consult this information if they are registered with the system and make a payment. So you know if all want to benefit from this idea, government go so you know if all want to win this competition, government go have to benefit from this idea. Of course, not only government, but the public go benefit too. Listen, this system will provide support for sustainable development, guarantee of ownership and reduction of land dispute. The system can be run at minimum cost to citizens and government, proper documentation of contribution, a standardized and complete cadastral system, and complete area coverage and straightforward information structure. Wait now, so what about the implementation? Well, there is already a GIS unit in planning division and registry, and inland revenue already has persons working dealing with title deeds and taxation, so time will be needed to merge the already existing departments. An investment is needed to buy an ArcG server to create the internet-based application. And also, an investment in training these persons will be needed to use the new GIS-based system. It is difficult to put an exact value of how much it is going to cost, but it should be relatively inexpensive as all the areas already exist. So wait, what about the advantages? Now, there are many advantages of having a multi-purpose cadastral system. One, interconnectivity between government offices, easy access to data that will reduce information retrieval time, quality and integrity of land information, a strong potential to expand cadastral services, public confidence in the system, a low level of dispute, and all litigation in land dealing. So it now have no disadvantages? Yes, girl. One, currently for credit or debit card payment, there is a percentage charge by the bank. There could be issues with system security and dependency on employee to enter the correct information. This is how, this is a prototype of how the multi-purpose cadastral system will be looking after it is created. And this is the future application will be on your mobile. We can access the information once you have a phone from anywhere in the world. 